Hello, how are you? I am back onto YouTube. So for those of you who don't follow me over on Instagram, you'll know that over the last few months, myself and David have recently set up a podcast called 10 Down by Terry and David. So we have been super busy with that. And when I originally set up this YouTube channel, I kind of knew that we were going to be doing that. And it, I knew it was going to take up a hell of a lot of time. So I said to myself, right, I'll start YouTube and then I'll probably need to take like a little step back just while we're learning the ropes. Um, myself and David are producing, editing and uploading and liaising with a few sponsors and that. So it's been hectic. It's taken up a lot of time, time but I think we've just started to get really into the swing of things, if that makes sense. So now I am ready to come back to YouTube. So I'm very excited to be coming back to you guys. Sorry if you hear, if you can hear some grunting, it's Jake. <laughs> That's my dog Jake, he's giving out. But yeah, so I decided to come back and I said I might do, since it's the end of the month, I might do a little roundup of some products that I've been loving. I put up a question box over on Instagram and a lot of you guys were asking for empty videos. So videos basically on empties. So products that I've gotten through and you know, that I loved. So I might do that. And also another video that you guys were asking about is, um, a product review on products that are like gone viral and everybody's raving about them and like real reviews if that makes sense or like products that I didn't find that good so definitely gonna do something like that so yeah I'm gonna start with a little roundup of some products that I have been loving in May and um, for the past few months as well you might see me mentioning a couple of these over on Instagram but yeah before I get into that I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a an update as well so I feel like there's just been so much happening over the last few months and it's so hard to kind of chat over on Instagram because the stories, you don't want your stories being too long because you'll just like annoy people. <laughs> last year we went off to Portugal for the summer and we absolutely loved it and that was kind of our plan this year but I'm just making sure it's still recording, yes, but um, I had a job opportunity come up and I said to David, feck it, I'm going to go for it and I'll do the interview and see like how I go. So I interviewed for the job and I was successful so I was, I was in shock. Um, absolutely thrilled it's it's so exciting and it's something that I've really been working towards and I'm really looking forward to so I can't wait to start that and yeah I'm just I'm really thrilled so it meant though that we couldn't go away for the summer which is absolutely fine because we've done loads of traveling for the last few months and I'm delighted with, with that and the weather here in Ireland has been amazing so long may that last but yes I'm starting that new job this week I um, need to go get my nails sorted no more long nails uh, which I'm gonna be very sad about but I'll have my 14 day manicure set there to kind of spruce them up on the weekends but yeah so that's my news there and we are also car shopping at the moment so you probably if you're following me on Instagram you'll know that I was working with Toyota uh, last year and I absolutely loved working with them I was driving their um, Toyota Yaris Cross it's a fab car if you are looking for like a compact SUV but um, the contract ended and we needed something bigger so we're currently like shopping around at the moment I think I think I have the one that, that I want to go for, or the one that I'm gonna buy. Um, so hopefully that happens this week because I start my new job and, and we only have one car at the moment. But yeah, what else have I got to tell you? Sydney's walking, she is walking my 18 month baby. When do you stop saying that? Oh my God, she's a year and a half. I'm not gonna be one of those moms that's like, she's 27 months. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah she's nearly 19 month ac months actually but she's starting to walk and oh my god I was so worried about her like for for weeks and weeks and weeks I was on to the public health nurse I was on to my GP like I was so concerned that she wasn't walking and it's really taught me that babies do things in their own time like they give you all of these milestones to kind of just I suppose as little benchmarks to make sure that you know that they're ticking the boxes but they're not the be all and end all is what I've kind of learned and that babies do to do do things in their own time but it's also very important to get them checked if you are concerned and all that so I'm so relieved that she is because I just had my mind was just going insane so if you're a mammy and your baby is behind on the milestones and you're anxious I feel you I've been there it's it's such a worrying time but um yes she's she's come on great and oh my god she is like a new woman she was so frustrated before she was walking because yeah, I just kind of felt like she wanted to get going, but like she couldn't. So yeah, it's just it's just been a crazy hectic few weeks with her uh, walking. But um, what else have I got to tell you? David has loads of news, but that's his news. Um, what else have I got to tell you? I've loads. I just feel like there's loads of like lifey kind of bits going on. Oh, I won a VIP style award on Friday. If you're not from Ireland, there is lots of award ceremonies in Ireland. I don't really see them that much in the UK, but basically the biggest one of the year. I think is the VIP Style Awards. So VIP is a fab magazine here in Ireland and they throw like a huge night with like press and um, with influencers, with uh, TV personalities. Like it's just, it's incredible. And 
we just had the best night. Um, so it's a night that it's a night where you get really glammed up and dressed up. It's a night where you can kind of like take fashion to the next level. Um, I was going with H and M. Natalie from H and M asked me to go with them, so I was absolutely thrilled. So it meant I was wearing H and M, and I had my eye on the Mugler dress. The, from the H&M Mugler collaboration um, and I knew it was like black and plain so I was like how can I make this like VIP style award worthy so I decided to go blonde but I can't do that with my own hair because my own hair is so thin and it just like literally snaps so I got on to um, a lovely girl called Denise from Pello who owns a um, beautiful rain a beautiful um chain of salons and she specializes in like alopecia and helping people with hair loss and things so i knew she was going to be like amazing for getting wigs from so i reached out to her and we organized a blonde wig so i went blonde for the night and it was absolutely amazing but sure i had a few drinks and i didn't think i was gonna win so the fucking wig was coming off every five minutes on different people's heads and then of course when i won i was like oh shit because i knew <laughs> i had to go out and get photos then outside so I was like, back this thing is like hanging off my head. So the photos are fucking terrible. I, I even seen some like people slagging me off <laughs> in the comments, but well deserved. Um, they were like, what the hell is up with her hair? Like she looks mental and she needs to have a word with who put that on her head. And I was like, it was my fault. But um, yeah, we had a fab night and I'm absolutely thrilled with the award, like really, really um, proud. And yeah, it's, it's all, it's all good. Oh, life has been brilliant. Weather's amazing here in Ireland. Looking forward to getting stuck into work for the summer. And um, loads of fun projects as well coming up. So yeah, it's, it's been it's been great. It's been great. So I hope you're all keeping well. Um, I'm gonna dive into this little beauty haul or beauty roundup because um I don't wanna keep you as much longer. But um yeah, if you are interested in beauty, skincare, makeup, and, uh, and tools and fragrances and stuff, keep watching. I have a little friend here in the background. That's Jake, our rescue dog. Okay, so first product I want to talk to you guys about is a beautiful foundation. So you'll probably know that I am obsessed with Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. It is absolutely incredible. I will link it below. Highly recommend. I wear 5.75, 6 and 6.5. Those three different shades. I wear them just depending on my tan situation. But cannot recommend that foundation enough. But in saying that, I was finding if I was wearing it for like a long time. Like wearing it like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, like five days in a row. I was kind of noticing that my skin was a little bit dry because it is like a matte, semi-matte foundation. So I actually invested it into a little primer, which I'm going to show you now. Um, I say invested, it was like the cheapest thing ever, it's the best. But I started to kind of reach for other foundations for during the day and this one here is from It Cosmetics. It is absolutely bashed because I've been using it so much over the last few months. It is the perfect daytime foundation. It is so beautiful. It's called Your Skin But Better Foundation Plus Skincare. So it has skincare in it. It's absolutely beautiful. It's what I'm wearing now. My um, skin feels absolutely amazing after it. It's so good. Cannot recommend it enough. I wear shade... What shade do I wear? I wear shade medium neutral. Link it below, it's absolutely gorgeous. That brings me to my next product. So this here, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I was absolutely raving about this. So this is basically, basically one night I went down like a rabbit hole on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube um, on this product. So basically all of the celebrity makeup artists claim that they use this to create like a beautiful dewy, glow on the skin and I was like feck it I'm gonna buy it because it's so cheap it is I think it was like between 10 or 15 euro I can't remember but I'll leave a link below I know they sell it over and look fantastic actually my discount code still works from um a previous club that we have but basically it is a mask hydrant so it's essentially a moisturizer Jake's up, no, he's, he's asleep. But it's essentially a moisturizer. So I do my usual skincare and then I'll pop the tiniest amount of this on my skin just before I apply my foundation, particularly my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk because um, that's a little bit more matte and it is incredible. So if you're somebody that suffers with dry skin or you want to kind of like ramp up your dewiness on your makeup, definitely go and check it out. It's so cheap, it is brilliant. So that brings me on to skincare. So um, as I said, a few people have asked me to do like empties. So talk about like products that I've like gone through. So this is my first empty that I'm gonna to talk to you about. It is from Elizabeth Arden. So for those of you, again, who follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I am absolutely obsessed with their uh, peptide, no, their ceramide night cream. It is 
It is chef's kiss, it's unbelievable. This is a serum from Elizabeth Arden. It's from the Pervade range and basically it is an anti-aging daily serum 2.0. When I wake up the next morning after using this, I just feel like my face is plump, it's hydrated, it feels clear, like it feels like it's, it's literally illuminated. It's, it's absolutely incredible. Now it's expensive. I've run out of this and when I say, I was like <laughs> trying to get every last drop out of it like, Oh no, I have makeup on. <gasps> there was a tiny bit left. What will I do with it on my hands? Oh God, it's so beautiful. I'm feckin' raging, I've very wasted that a little bit. But um, it even smells beautiful as well. This hand is gonna be glowing in the morning. But yes, if you were looking for a really, really nice serum and you have the budget, I would recommend it. I wonder if they have it over on, on um, Look Fantastic. I'll leave a little link below because my, my, co my code does work. Um, I will definitely be pur purchasing this again as a little treat. But yes, that is the serum I've been using. And then I've also been using this um, eye cream. So this is a peptide eye cream from Skin Theory. I've seen loads of Irish influencers talking about this. So um, I had a couple of their products there and I was like, right, I'm gonna give them a go. It has, it has plant stem cells in it. And I'm like, I'm very, very hard to please when it comes to eye creams. I've been so impressed with it. So if you're looking for a really nice eye cream and it's quite affordable as well. This product is a well-loved product, as you can see, it's a little bit bashed. Some of these products have just been all around the world recently with me. Um, but this is a brow gel from Sosu Cosmetics. It's actually called Brow Glue. So the reason why I love this is because I, there's loads of brow kind of glues, brow um, products on the market at the moment that are all doing the same thing. So like, it's, they're very like a uh, refi, you know, refi brow. Um, and the two products that I've loved from other brands is the Benefit Brow um, Glue and also the Refi Brow, it's so good. But I was finding that the product would run out really quick. I don't know, I don't know why, um, like it, it, was, it was running out pretty quick. So what I love about the Sosu Cosmetics one is that there's so much product and the bottle as well is genius. So the bottle's like a squeezy bottle. So if you find that you're running out of product, you can squeeze the, the bottle and then the product will come to the top and then you just like press in your wand so it actually gets the product on it. Um, I think it's a genius idea because the rest of the products for your brow from other brands is like in a bottle. Now they're all, it's a really, really good product but I was just kind of finding that it was, it was just running out too quick. So if you are looking for a nice brow product to keep your eyebrows nice and fluffy, this is um, what my eyebrows look like with the brow glue in them. And then I also have the uh, Bouncy Brow Duo from Sosu Cosmetics in them. But um, yeah, if you're looking for a brow, to, if you're looking for a brow product to give you that laminated brow look, definitely go over and check out the Sosu um, brow glue, it's fab. So if you follow me over on Instagram, you'll have seen this next product a few times <laughs> where I'm absolutely traumatizing my husband. But this is basically a lead light therapy mask from Current Body. I was actually using one of their other tools recently and I posted about it and um, you guys were loving it when you did buy it. Posting this mask afterwards and the team were like, oh, we can give you a discount code. So I actually do have a discount code for this product. I'm gonna leave it here on the screen if you want to head over to Current Body and get yourself a mask because they're absolutely incredible. So if you're following me a long time, you'll know that I had, I used to do a lot of lead light therapy when I was living in Australia. I have a little scar here. Um, I'd fallen off my bike when I was over there and I was going for facials and I was getting some lead light therapy on it as well, just to help it heal. And I found it really, really good. And I noticed that like my skin just improved so much. Like every time that I use this, I find that my skin just feels more plump because it helps encourage uh, collagen production and also it helps the fine lines and wrinkles. So if you are, if any of those are your skin concerns, definitely go over and check it out. Like it is, it is brilliant. I find it so good. And also Kourtney Kardashian uses it. So it's good enough for Kourtney, it's good enough for me. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So, so it comes in a little box. So this is the box that it comes in this here and then on the inside it comes with this little like travel bag which I think is very very handy and then on the inside I have my mask and it's attached to the little battery this little battery pack here which you can charge separately so you can take it off charge it up and then you attach it to the mask and then it has a little timer so when you press it on it comes on for 10 minutes and you can use this it's recommended that you use it five times a week for 10 minutes. I tend to use it like twice or three times a week just because I'm super busy and I always I don't always get time to sit down and use it. But basically you cleanse your skin, you pop on your serums and then you apply your mask. This is made from silicone, so it means that it's really, really bendy. That means then that the lights get your whole face. Do you know the way you see kind of some of the masks and they're really stiff? 
um, and then you're kind of wondering well how do they actually get like all of the face so this is really um, really really clever I think so yeah I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's turned on so I'll turn it around so it has this little velcro thing at the back so that allows you to adjust the mask to your face and I'm gonna press this button and show you what it looks like when it's switched on <laughs> So this is how it looks and then it just goes onto your face you pop pop this part over your head and then you adjust it and you just chill out for 10 minutes it also comes with goggles to protect your eyes as well and um, so yeah sometimes my husband does be like in the chair and then he comes out and i'm just like sitting there like <laughs> something from star wars <laughs> but like the results are amazing so yeah that is my lead light therapy mask from current body i cannot recommend this enough it's fab especially if you're like me i i'm a real um diy kind of gal so i love to do my nails at home i have my 14 day manicure set i love to do my brows at home i buy my brow dye i yeah i like during the lockdown i was happy to do my hair and stuff so i'm a real diy kind of gal so if you're like me and you like to kind of sit at home and do your bit definitely go over and check out current body i think you'll love it. two products um i've been loving so I always get questions asking, asking me about my hair and how I like slick it back. So I'll wash my hair and then I will pop some hair oil into it. So this hair oil here I've been using recently, it is a honey infused hair oil and you only need the tiniest bit. Like I've been using this for I'd say well over three or four weeks and you literally just need the tiniest amount. I'll show you like what I'm talking about. And basically I will wash my hair or whatever or like it'll be, I'll show you. Like that is literally all I use. I just rub it all over my hands and pop it into my hair. So I basically just slick my hair back and then use this. Um, and what that does is it like just really hydrates the hair. It's so good for it, it nourishes it. Sometimes I'll bring it down um, through my hair and basically I'll do that and then I will spray my hair with hairspray, like a stronghold hairspray and then I'll get a hairbrush and I'll just literally work the hairspray into my hair to just like flatten down any flyaways or anything like that. It's not too like, oily or greasy on the hair if you use just that amount. The past few days is this one here from an Irish brand called Voodoo. It's called Trendsetter and it's an extra hold hairspray. So I tend to kind of reach for any extra hold hairspray is like anything will do but this one's fab because it brushes out nicely. I'm interested they're called Voodoo and um, yeah I used it last week. I went up to Denise from Pello and I got the wig and stuff but she gave me a few products to try and I started to use it last week and I found it really really good. So, um, so yeah, I'd recommend it. The last product I want to talk to you about is fragrance. So you might have seen this again over on my Instagram. It is a beautiful perfume. It's from Jimmy Choo. So I am a complete weirdo. So if anybody else is like this, please let me know, right? I wore Chloe Nomad on my wedding day and I was like in love with the fragrance. I wore it on the lead up to my wedding. I wore it on the day. I wore it the day after. I wore it like all through my wedding honeymoon. And now when I smell that, I, it reminds me so much of my wedding. And I don't want to wear it because I don't want that to go away, if that makes sense. Like, I don't want to lose that, like, nostalgia. Like, I don't want to smell it and then just be like, oh, that reminds me of, or, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't want to lose that nostalgia. So this fragrance here, the reason why I love it is because it reminds me so much of Chloe Nomad, but it's not the same. It's just the same vibe. It's really soft. It's really elegant. It's such a beautiful fragrance. I was like, oh my God, this reminds me of Chloe Nomad. So I popped it straight into my bag because I just know I'm going to like go through that bottle so quick. But um, yes, yeah, so if you're looking for a nice, elegant, chic fragrance, definitely check out um, Jimmy Choo. Right on the wall. It's so sunny here in Ireland. It's amazing. But yes, guys, that is a little roundup of some of my beauty favorites this month. I hope that was nice and, you know, you grabbed a cup of tea and enjoyed that little run through. I, of course, there's just so many like products that I'd love to include, but I'd be here all day. <laughs> Let me know if you like this kind of t content as well. I'm going to do some makeup tutorials next week. I will definitely do the video I said about like reviewing products that there's a lot of hype over and giving an honest review. And also... I was only thinking I should probably do I should probably do a nice video on hair care as well because I've been through the mill with my hair talk to you guys about products over the years that have really worked because there's so many different ones that have worked for so many different reasons um, and also products to avoid because yeah this like it's gas because you grow up and you think you're doing the right thing but you're not because then um, you're using cheap products in your hair and it's just not helping them that so I might do a video like that if you're interested let me know and um, leave a little comment below but Anyway, I'll stop waffling. I hope you have a lovely week. Enjoy the sunshine if you're in Ireland and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.